to swim faster, you want to reduce drag as well as increase propulsion. You do that by doing various stroke drills as well as, well as using various equipment to help reduce drag and increase propulsion. After you've spent some time with drills and equipment and getting some base training, then you really want to think about what is going on with your distance per stroke and stroke rate. Which is more important, faster arm turnover or longer and stronger? And the answer is it's a combination of both. In the sport of running, you actually want to work on your stride rate. You want to work on increasing the number of foot strikes per minute. And then as your legs get stronger by doing various strength training, mileage buildup, as well as hill running, then you want to maintain that cadence, which is usually around 85 to 95 one foot strikes a minute increase your stride without losing cadence and that will make you run faster. Swimming is actually the opposite. You want to start by working on that stride or glide or distance per stroke or strength. It all means the same thing and then you want to increase your arm turnover without losing that stride or glide. So I'm holding these two tools. The reason I like to use paddles and a pull buoy to work on stroke rate as well as increase strength with the paddles is because sometimes you get a better feel for focusing on stroke rate and, and strength um, when you're wearing these two pieces of tools. So when you wear the pull buoy, I like to have athletes just work on fast arm turnover with the buoy only, they're taking the legs out of the equation so the legs are not providing any forward propulsion. The pull buoy is bringing the legs up so you have less drag and you're just focusing on arm turnover. When you wear the pull buoy with hand paddles, the hand paddles are going to provide longer and stronger strokes so your stroke rate is actually going to slow down with paddles. When I'm getting ready for a race, um, like maybe six to eight weeks out from a, a key triathlon event or open water swim event, I'm doing a combination set of say five by 200 meters where I do 200 meters with the buoy only, focusing on stroke rate, and then I do the even 200 meters with paddles and a buoy focusing on different distance per stroke. And then I'll do a set without my equipment. I'll try to maintain my distance per stroke and my higher turnover without the tools. And that combination of distance per stroke with the higher turnover, I'm going to go faster in the water. If you have any questions about your stroke, I'd appreciate if you send me a swim video for analysis because then I can see specifically what you're struggling with and I can offer the right combination of tools that I recommend as well as stroke drills for your technique limiter so you can become a faster and stronger swimmer. Make it a great day.